I guess I was in second or third year university. I was trying to write fiction and I was trying to figure out what it meant to be a writer. Like, I, I didn't really have any influences or any mentors or any people sort of saying, these, these are the steps you have to follow. So what I was doing was I was, I was reading as, you know, young wannabe writers do. I was reading Hemingway and I was reading, you know, Jean Rees and Anton Chekhov. I had been telling myself, okay, so I've, I've had no life experience. I'm just, I'm still young, but you know, once I get out of this one horse town and then I'll be able to write like, like Hemingway and Joyce. I was, I was sort of coming home every summer to Cape Breton um, and working in my small town at the social services slash children's aid office. At least once a week, I would be going off with these, um, these social workers to visit people in their homes. And I was experiencing a side of rural and small town Cape Breton that I always knew was there, um, but that I had really never seen up close before. I would kind of return from, from these trips feeling, feeling really shaken and, and kind of emotionally wrecked, um, but at the same time feeling like I'd experienced something kind of profound. As I was having these experiences, I was reading these novels that were very much about the world I was experiencing. Maritime writers like David Adams Richards and Alden Nolan. The truth of that old adage, anyone who has had a childhood has, has the material to write a novel, really came home to me in that moment. I realized that like, as a writer, um, I had everything I needed and that's where I would find the truth of my stories.